What's up, Air Signs? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Golden List, bitch. Join me as I read you your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do. And if you need to get a personal read from me, make sure you hit that description box down below. Check out my website. Laurelsmoon.com for any other magical purpose and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, Spirit, you are welcome into this reading. Massage the cards for the air gods. Okay. One more time, darlings. Okay, so we're going to see what's going on with the daily vibe. All right. We're going to choose three cards from the Romance Angels. Go from there to possible outcomes. All right. So here we go, darling. Let's see what. Ha. All right. Off top. Air signs. We have new love. Oh, shucky, ducky. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings for the next couple of days, my loves. Keep in mind, the time is fluid. All right. So, we also have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments, air signs. So, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, we're about to see what's going on. And the last card is reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So, air signs, you could be having a... Uh, Reconciliation with someone from your past that you've already known before. Okay, unbeknownst to you. So, let's see what's going on with my lovely air signs. Off top, we're going to look at forgiving and learning. So, I could, I do feel like that's tying into the same message. Okay, forgiving and learning and reconciliation with someone from your past. You're definitely healing and learning from some things. Okay. Now, Ten of Wands could have been a situation where you were holding all of the weight. All right, with that wand energy, some of you all are definitely just kind of focused on work is what I'm seeing here. But I do feel with the full energy, you're trying to let go, trying to let go of all of this weight. Now, with the five of sword energy, I feel that there was definitely some regrets that you could have been, you know, re-envisioning in your head. But I do see with the five of swords that there's someone who had someone in the past that felt defeated or there could have been someone who was just trying to take uh, their losses and keep it pushing. All right. Um, I do feel like that is what that learning is all about. Some of y'all definitely could be needing to keep your options open with the Seven of Cups, also Hermit Energy. So for some of you guys, I feel like with this forgiving and learning and also the reconciliation together, there could be a situation where you're keeping your options open, but at the same time, you're also kind of closed off and needing to gain some sort of insight or introspect alone. Okay. Definitely could be forgiving and learning on your own. But I do feel your stability is definitely here with this Ten of Pentacles energy here, air signs. So I feel like your concentration is your family foundation, yourself is definitely what I'm seeing here. Also, just forgiving people overall. Could be some immature motherfuckers around you with the Page of Swords energy here. Could be somebody that's just spying on. Definitely someone from your past with the Six of Cups. And I'm also seeing here uh, both of these together could be children as well. Um, but I'm seeing here, air sign, there's definitely someone who's immature towards a child situation or someone could have been really childlike, all right? But I feel they're spying on you. could be due to a third-party situation or letting go of a third party uh, with the Three of Cups, also Queen of Wands. So I feel like for some of you, uh, air signs, that there's definitely a start or a new start or new beginning, shall I say, is definitely coming into play uh, with the Queen of Wands. And letting go of this third party situation or someone who's definitely spying on you due to um, it could have been a Leo Sagittarius Aries. Um, I'm definitely seeing a lot of fire energy here. Also could have been just someone who lost, who lost passion for uh, with this sun energy. And also with the Ace of Wands, you came into clarity, both of those two together. You lost passion for this person, but you also came into clarity once you did lose passion. I do feel uh, a lot of you air signs could be definitely dealing with someone um, that they want to communicate with you, okay? They're definitely some sort of communication or someone is having a hard time acknowledging their communication and how shitty it is, 
okay? It's definitely what I'm seeing here. So I feel like you're just maintaining your balance anyway with this temperance energy. Um, so some of you all could be trying to really just, you know, outweigh your options, making time a priority, okay, of how much time you're going to invest in it and how much uh, of a situation is going to be clear to you later on down the line. But I do feel um, there really is a situation that someone is holding on to or someone is holding on tight to a thought, okay, or the way that they are with this four of pentacle energy here and also with the queen of cups. I'm definitely seeing here a lot of you guys could be going through this situation where someone is not really being emotional, but they're still holding on to a lot of things that make them emotional or they're just keeping on these same behaviors and same patterns is what I'm seeing here. Someone definitely needs like some mothering energy, some nurturing energy is what I'm saying for sure in the next couple of days. But also, um, I do feel there could be someone who's, you know, and trying to build up a third party situation, but they're also not trying to take an action. So you could be dealing with two different people, three different people here, air signs, but I'm seeing here that there is an action that needs to be made overall. Let's see what this new love is all about, because I feel like that's what that third party situation is, or someone is definitely building up this third party for sure. So new love, air signs, king of wands, magician energy, you guys are definitely um, making sure that there is something that you're going to manifest, damn it. Yes, I see it. You got the Magician Energy here and also the King of Wands. Ten of Cups. So you are coming into manifestation. Could be with a possible soulmate, all right? Or somebody feel is a soulmate. But I definitely feel with this star energy, you're coming into a renewal process, purification once again. But the new love could be Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Also another Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like there is this new... Um, passion that wants to come in or there is someone that you're holding on to on the side that's bringing in a lot of passion so let's see about possible outcomes because i feel at the bottom of the deck you have the page of cups i'm also seeing here you're making final decisions air signs so let's see baby let us see possible outcomes for gemini libra aquarius next couple of days Daily vibe up in this bitch. Talk to me, spirit. All right, Knight of uh, Pentacles energy here. So somebody is definitely coming in pretty slow. But on the other hand, you got a lot of opportunities, a lot of giving and receiving. Someone could be, uh, you could be, could have been waiting on someone with this Knight of Pentacles. Also, six of uh, Pentacles coming in to make things even. Someone definitely has some sort of gift or an offer. For some of you all, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn here, okay? But this just this could be a side message off to the side for some of you air signs. I feel like there's a major change coming in with this tower energy. I also feel with the tower energy, there's definitely something that you might, that you're trying to cut off or you're trying to think about, about what energy you're going to put into it. This is you guys, that queen of swords, also four of swords. You could be taking a break from someone, taking a break, okay? Making sudden moves. Is what I'm seeing here that you're kind of facing. She is looking at this tower. So she could be wondering and trying to, you know, be inquisitive about how uh, the sudden change is going to make for themselves. Also, some sort of love connection as well for some of you guys. Two of cup energy here. Um, but I do feel this could be that new love that's coming in. Um, let's see here. Let me not speak too soon, honey. <laughs> so I'm already seeing here. There's definitely someone who wants to bring in some new passion. Possible Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, this Ace of Wands, also Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Everyone is pretty much here, but I'm seeing that this is something that you could have cut off all of a sudden. Could have been something in the past. Could have been due to a third-party situation with the Three of Swords, but you're healing from that. So it's just coming in reverse. You're taking those daggers out of your heart, okay? Attaching that motherfucker up with some wisdom for the future. All right. But I do see here a lot of you guys are really starting to come into your own with this shakeup that could have possibly happened or could be happening um, with the star energy. Ace of Cups. I do feel someone definitely wants a new opportunity coming towards you. Ace of Swords. All right. Some communication. Um, but to me, I feel some people just want to call it into a situation or you're just contemplating in your head. The situation, how it's going to end, over, start, begin, all of that shit is what I'm seeing here. 
Um, but I'm feeling there is a lot of truth that could be coming out with this moon energy for sure. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Pisces, but I do see for the next couple of days, this person wants a love offer. It's something you're definitely thinking about or you're in your head about. Because uh, it looks to me like you could be having anxiety, staying at nighttime, but you're just really in your head about cutting the situation off. But I feel like since you are in your head, you're calling in a resistance, but it makes you uh, realize what options you do have and what you are really bringing together with this world energy, okay? So there could be a love offer coming your direction. This person could be definitely coming in slow. A lot of secrets are being revealed, especially due to non-communication, which is actually pretty interesting. And I do feel with the uh, King of Swords, uh, there's definitely someone who's in their head or they're just detached from a situation overall, from a lot of tricky fucking energy that you're having to contemplate. Like I said, you know, think about over and over again, is this person doing this to me? Is this person, you know, uh, since they are detached, are they lying to me? Are they tricking me? Is what I'm seeing here. I feel like possible outcomes, a lot of karmic energy is coming to a head. Okay. You could be leaving away from a situation uh, for some of you all, or there could be just some space and time where you're uh, cutting shit to a dead end. Now, with this judgment energy, I feel you guys are really starting to make some real serious judgment energy uh, or making critical decisions towards solutions is what I'm seeing here. It could be that for some of you all, you're just wanting to a movement, all right? Now, I do feel um, there is definitely an overall vibe to a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, possibly someone from the past um, that is... You know, not wanting communication, but they're also wanting to bring in love or some sort of uh, opportunity that makes them come in, ride me in, okay, or lay high horse. So they have to be aware of that. I feel like final decisions are made. Bottom of the deck is the devil. So also the queen of wands could be some little witchery going on for some of you guys. Um, I do feel it could be that there is some opportunities coming your way uh, that you feel you need to just cut the shit. And concentrate on yourself. I see the page of swords. Also, Cancer Pisces Scorpio coming your direction. But there is some shit you guys need to cut out. That's definitely what I'm seeing here. Air signs. Somebody could be very toxic. Could be that sex, drugs, and rock and roll, baby. All right. But definitely some witchery going on for sure. All right. Some of you guys could be lighting candles and getting out your tarot cards and shit. Whatever may have you. But whatever the case may be, definitely some um, really dark energy going on for some of you guys. But this person wants to come your way. I love you guys. I'm going to get on out of here. If you need to get a personal read from me, make sure you hit that motherfucking description box, baby. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.